Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'd like to give you a few ideas on how to make Clair de Lune sound really special. It's one thing to just play the notes, but it's another to create an atmosphere. And an atmosphere is everything in Clair de Lune. Such a well-known piece, too. So it starts with the rhythm. It's in 9-8 time, and you must count each triplet and feel that each one balances with the next. So if you play a triplet and listen back to how you played the one before it and see that it's identical in the length of time, then it's going to give the piece stability. And the other thing is the way you produce your tone. So if you can sit tall and take a deep breath and just relax those arms and shoulders, and then think of the finger like a, a diving board. When you come down in, it can, it can store that energy and then lift it because when it can lift it up, the higher it lifts, the more distance there is to accelerate down in the drop and give a huge sound because that's the same idea of using the muscles to lift those arms more and more and more and more and then get that slap. And when you can know that you're lifting for a reason, it makes all the, mo all the more sense in, in your ability to control the piece in the going, especially in that middle section. <laughs> so if I think of that first triplet as having a downbeat that, it's a re that is a rest, then I can think one, two. But if I just start playing one, two, three, it, it becomes like that's the first beat of the bar, and it's not. It's one, two, three. It's syncopated. It's moved over to the second. So one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. That's like a little answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. on the beat, you see? And if you can think of of um, pressing deep, playing deep with your fingers into the keys, you're going to feel that you're rooted in the key with your balance. A friend of mine, Natalie Coriati, pointed that out to me, that when you play deep with your fingers, you feel grounded in the keys. And then you can control how you connect to the next. And we see up and then to be able to hear all three triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that goes down. When I'm going that slow, it's a little tricky to follow it. But, but you have to complete each group of three. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, seven and eight and nine and one. Six and seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, four,
एक संसार में नहीं बिता है And you see, when you want a brighter tone, you can whip that finger in. It's like giving yourself acupuncture, as Lang Lang puts it, into your forearm. Snap it in there. And that gives more speed to the hammer and more clarity to your tone. You can still think of playing down deep, but just balance to the point where you want to take the tone out of the piano and make it ring. Because if you just play, play down, it doesn't sing. It doesn't, it doesn't sound sparkly. But it's just to find these little secrets that make it sound special. So I hope that gives you a few ideas and makes you want to work on that piece because maybe you already know it. <laughs> and it's fun to go through it and just practice it slowly, counting every triplet and the 16th notes that come in between the, the eighth beats because that'll make it really spaced properly in your performance and give you time to even exaggerate that space at the end of a phrase and rest and let it soak into the listener's ear, take a deep breath, and then start the next phrase. So it's a beautiful piece for creating the, the image of the moon. And everybody's image is different, but it allows you that expressivity. If you can practice it counting to the triplets and being sure that you haven't rushed them or cut them short or taking too long just you need to it's like if you were standing on a barrel that's rolling and one foot goes that way and then the other goes this way and this goes this way well each group of three is like one of those distances that your whole body feels the yin and the yang of that and and you feel that you're in the groove of the piece because you know that your whole body including your lower body right from your tailbone is part of that feeling of one, two, three, or one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and one. So nine and one. That kind of, of um, connection of the beats. It just makes the piece sparkle and sound special. A listener doesn't know you're doing all of that, but that's your secret. And, and you can uh, keep it to yourself, but you can show the listener that you understand the way the piece, piece was written and then make it sound special. So I hope that gives you a few ideas. Have a good night now.